Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for Imperator. Today what I'm going to be teaching you is a condition that I was pretty sure that was added in 2020.4 for Imperator. Uh, what this will basically do is allow us to uh, detect if the block has a redstone pulse and if true then what we're going to be doing is replacing the block. So uh, the main focus of this uh, particular tutorial is to show how the redstone detection works and um, just the basically overview of what you can do with it, uh, very similar to a redstone lamp. So if we place a redstone torch underneath, as you can see, the block does update to a green state, which is would be the on state for the redstone pulse. Um, because the block is detecting that there's a power uh, greater than or equal to uh, one, then it will basically change the block. So if we place it over here, uh, as you can see, it won't do it because it's not connected to the block. So we can uh, put it over here and then hook up a redstone dust directly to the block and it will update it. And if we also connect a, a redstone pulse on top, as you can see, the redstone dust doesn't break and the uh, it, it still gets powered. So let's hop into Imperator and I'll show you how the procedure works. So I've just used one procedure for both blocks. And the first thing that I've basically done was just test for what block that the current one is. Uh, this is run through a block update, so basically a tick update. And uh, what it's doing is after it tests for the block, then it's testing for the direction of, um, it basically gets the redstone power on side. Um, not sure if the side actually matters too much, but then it's going to ask for the coordinates. So the coordinates of the block that you're, you want to test for. And then what you want to do is go equal to or greater than one. And what that will do is test for any redstone uh, signal with a strength of one or greater. So with that being said, that turns the block on. So what would happen is it would just replace the block at the current location and keep the state as well as the uh, MBT inventory or mpt tags and inventory so it's just replacing it with the on state which is the green block and then if it's not this block then what we're doing is we're testing for the green block and then we're doing the exact same thing but we're testing for if the redstone power is less than one so not exactly one um, anything below one. So one, it would be a solid number. Anything below one or less than would be like 0 0.9999999, right? So it would be a lot lower than um, one, which because redstone is on a uh, solid number, it would be testing for zero and below. So with that being said, uh, if it is zero or below, then it's going to just basically switch it back to the off state. So that's all that happens uh, with this procedure. Uh, if you're new, uh, actually, before I go, uh, you can find this block under the world data, and then it's right here. So you would basically just get that. You would stick it right in a light blue operator like this, and then you would uh, play around equal to or greater equal to greater than or less than sign like that. So hopefully you guys found this uh, video useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.